bloodhounds like Van Helsing, I have not yet known the peace on earth supposedly brought by this time of reawakening. I dispatched my disciples with the hope that they would deliver word to me of young Van Helsing's breathless slumber. Get out of here. You're not going anywhere, young man, until the doctor says so. And until your x-rays come back, and they haven't come back. That's that. We've got to stop him, Mary. We've come this far. Those students are the best lead we've had. I can't just lie here. Don't worry. I'll check the registrar's office and see what I can find. you're home before dark.
Not so good. She saved Van Helsing. Mary. You know that she's trying to destroy you. Thanks to her, Van Helsing is still alive. Once again, he's free to hound you. She will not save him again. Soon she will be devoted only to me. But I am already devoted to you, my prince. Tell me where she is. Do not be a petulant child. She was at the university this afternoon. Seems to be the trouble, officer. Yeah, you ran that light back there going like a bat out of hell. That light was yellow. I know the color red when I see. You know, you guys get one of these $20,000 jobs and you think you own us all, body and soul. All right, let's see your license, bud. Wouldn't you know the one time? Well, I'm gonna have to write you up for that, too. Hey, let's see what else we can find. All right, out of the car. All right, move it. You're not from around here, are you? No, and your reception does not exactly make me feel welcome. Well, we can't have you feeling unwelcome in this neck of the woods, now can we? Now, hands in front of you. Against the car. Oh, rats, spread them! <laughs> I saw somebody come out of my office. I was afraid it was one of them. What am I doing here? 
You're supposed to be in the hospital. Well, I just had to get back. The x-rays were okay. You were supposed to be home by now. I just lost track of time. Oh, here. I, I found this. I couldn't find anything on the students, but found this one on the cards. Mortuary supplies. Perfect place to hide a coffin. With a lot of other coffins. Well, not you. You're going home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep your doors locked. And be careful. You too. I believe you stalled it, my dear. Do not be frightened. I will not harm you. You have my word. Your word? Yes. It has honorably withstood five centuries, but if you would feel more comfortable, bring your cross. I'm sure you have. I never leave home without it. So much about you I do not know, and yet there are qualities that I have admired in others. The courage of Mary Queen of Scots, the grace of Pavlova, the beauty of Anne Boleyn. Before or after she lost her head over Henry. The king was a lonely man. You two have a lot in common. You think nothing of human life. You are wrong. There is nothing so dear to me as life endless life, which is mine to give. Do you think you're some kind of a god? Mary, I want you to listen to me very carefully. How would you like to be alive 100 years from now? As young and vital as you are at this moment, 200 years from now, to behold the earth in 500 years and beyond. Is this what you told my mother before you killed her? She lives on in you. Don't you understand? I am offering you something that no one else can. Immortality. Like the eternal sea. Think of it. The ceaseless tide. I know you are beginning to feel it. No. Mary, do not struggle. You are partially mine already.
Mary's life be savagely shattered? To what inhuman lengths can mortal jealousy go? Don't miss the next chilling episode. Chapter 9, Depository of Death. Now stay tuned for this week's chapter of The Secret Empire. Following immediately. Next thrilling chapter of The Secret Empire. Portions of which are in beautiful black and white. U.S. Marshal Jim Donner has discovered a secret empire and is captured by guards of the evil Emperor Thorval. Frozen by a blast from the neutronic laser, the Marshal faces death in the Zentrax of a secret empire. However, Tara, Thorval's daughter, spares his life only to subject him to a far worse fate. daughter of the deposed peaceful ruler, Demeter, rescues daughter and saves him from the Compliatron, which would enslave his mind as it has the citizens of the underground city. This critter makes the wrong end of a mule look good. Almost tore my head off. Uh, I thought he was outside. I do regret this. Come on, Taz. Taz? A sub form from our home. Here you go, Taz. Oh, he's really very friendly. But they do not adapt well. We have very few left. Maya, where is your home? We will try to return you to the surface. Come. Look, miss, I don't rightly understand much of what I'm seeing, but I have a job to do. I'm after gold and the Phantom Riders who stole it. If only you could stop them. This gold of yours is the energy source of the Compliatron. It keeps my people imprisoned by controlling their minds. Gold's always been folks' minds out of shape. Now, will you tell me who you are? Our home is... is beyond the sky. Beyond the sky? Oppression rules our planet. And we fled. We began again, 
And now? And now you've got the same problems all over again. Sounds to me like this Thorvald's got plans for my people. A more powerful compliatron. If he gets enough gold, it can be used on the surface to enslave your people. Look, Mr. Keller, there's no sign of the marshal. And his horse came back hours ago. I think you should send out a search party. Now listen, Doc, I've got a million dollars in gold I'm shipping to Denver very soon. And my boys are going to be plenty busy enough making sure it gets through. I swear, Mr. Keller, these Phantom Riders have a hideout in this big rock. Maybe you could dig them out. You wander around in the sun long enough, they say you'll start seeing coyotes shooting pool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, boys, let's get down to it. For 30%, I guarantee the safe delivery of all of your gold. That's half our profits. What's more? And well worth it with what I got coming. Used to be used by the Army. They used to use it for running payroll across Indian territory. Battle coach. That's right. A body of solid steel and Gatling guns that'll keep any raiding party back a half a mile. Nobody's gonna steal a load I ship out on her. Nobody. Well, what about it? Sounds good. Uh, Jim Donner. Hungry? I could be if I smelled some food. What? What's that stuff? Protein, fungus, and a sweet moss binder. No, oh, that's uh, it's, it's it's awfully green and and a little too mushy for me. Miss, you got any beef? Beef. What is beef? That's what I figured. They are looking everywhere for you and your friend. Donner Jim is a friend who would return the gold to the surface. And capture the bandits who stole it. Your wish, then, is as futile as ours. That compliatron doesn't seem to bother you. Before they deposed my father, he and some loyal scientists devised a metal that neutralized the force. It must touch the skin. Our amulets. Without them, we would be like all the rest. My people are controlled by a constant force from the Centrax. Unfortunately, we don't know what this metal is. The scientist and Demet, her, her father, are all dead. We have no proof of that. None. We heard some rumors some time ago that my father had escaped. Maya. That he was on the surface somewhere. Maya, he couldn't survive. Not the ultraviolet rays. Not the atmosphere. But the Phantom Riders, they... They are the only ones with the equipment to survive. If this Compliatron thing's running all the time, why do I feel so ornery? What? Ornery. It's like doing what I want to do. Because you escaped the chair. That is the first phase. Present your picture tags. <laughs>
you Mr. Keller? I'm him. And here's the receipt. I was supposed to deliver this in Cheyenne. I'm reserving that pleasure for myself, thank you. Well, now, boys. Isn't she something? You take the horses back. I'll uh, see you back in Cheyenne. Thank you, Mr. Keller. Thank you. the simple. Nothing but the simple for the rest of your life. Possibly no more than one single note. Or perhaps you would rather see the sun. The sun you left behind you up above. But see it forever and ever with no night to hide it from your gaze. All I offer you is music and light. Are these the instruments of torture? Announce the capture of this intruder and his crimes against the citizens of Shamira. Tell them of his execution in the Imperial Court. Perhaps there is a better way. Maya and her friends risked their lives for him. Why? What does he know? that might be advantageous to the Empire. Why the Compliatron does not rob the rebels of their will? Possibly. The pit, I think, will do the job. No, Father. Yes, of course. Yannick. Yes, Emperor. Get the information from him and bring me the report. Yes, Emperor. Maya, is that right? I know her. Well, has she told you of the rebels' plans? Didn't you hear? Robert E. Lee surrendered in 65. Yannick, torture him, yes, but keep him alive. If he is as valuable as you think, we should use him to bring the partisans out. He means something to you. Of course not. Then he dies. They have a secret to neutralize the Compliatron. What is it? Neutralize? Is that anything like brown eyes? You do not amuse me. But it's not a lot of fun for me either. Creatures deep below, we try never to see them. Are Jim Dutter and Princess Tara doomed to a nameless death? Will Maya and the partisans survive their battle against the evil Emperor Thorval? What chance does Jesse Keller's battle coach stand against the Phantom Riders? 
how much longer do the citizens of the West have before facing the dreaded Compliatron? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The Secret Empire, Chapter 6, The Seeds of Revolt. Now, stay tuned for this week's chapter of Stop Susan Williams, following immediately.
I'm sure it will be horrible. I tell you, I saw her fall in. If you'd waited, you would have seen her climb out. You missed the corpse orders. I took care of my part with Mr. Chamberlain. This time we'll deal with her together. Ah. A very accurate aerial photograph. Has our operative in the French cabinet reported in on the moves of the president? We're having some trouble with that. Our man seems to be hesitating. Put the pressure on. We've got only 13 days until David. What about Susan Williams? I'm waiting to hear from Africa now. Switzerland at 1,700 hours. Excellent. Then we're going to expect its arrival well before May 15th. Thank you. Is that an electric, or are you just fast? Oh. Who are you? Just a guy you might like to try and get to know. Jack Schongarth. I'd like to talk to your boss. Schoengarth wants to know about our shipment aboard the Constantine. I've been trying to get a hold of you all afternoon. You never told me how all these people would be snooping around. My secretary put him off till six. I'm getting out of here. You want me to stay here? Mr. Carr, Mr. Carr said that this, this was just a shipping job, that, that I, I wouldn't be involved. Well, if you're sure this will finish it. All right. It's a Chamberlain's vehicle. Ah, she can't be far. Let's go. Samuelson. I've been playing pinball all afternoon, and I just ran out of replays. Uh, sure, sure. How, how can I help you? You have some information I need about the Chamberlain consignment. I'm sorry. I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, we've never done any business with anyone named Chamberlain. No point in us doing a tango. I want to know what's in those crates and where a boat named the Constantine is. 
And I haven't got time for a lot of pussyfoot and double talk. Understand, pal? Hey, all I've got is 8,000 Hawaiian hula dolls that, that I, I can't sell to anyone because the heads don't bounce. Look, I, I don't know anything about your crates. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. It's the truth, honestly. Now listen, it's awfully late. And it's getting later all the time. Now, are you going to level out or do I have to melt your eyeglasses? Please, Mr. Schoenfeld. Schoengart, maybe I ought to carve it on your chest. No, no, please. I don't know anything, really. Look, a friend of mine named Alan Williams already died over this business. Maybe you'd like to meet him. Who's that? editor alone. Would you excuse us for a moment, please? You promised me that Susan would call in every day. Well, she said she would, but I haven't heard a word. I don't know where she is. You put her on this story, Bob. You're responsible for her. Well, there's only so much I can do. She has to call us. I will be at lunch at the U.N. You let me know when she calls in. I mean, really, she can't be that far away from a telephone. to drive one in their direction. I'll take care of the rest. And be sure to miss her when you shoot. Her death must appear accidental. Yes. And it will.
Tomorrow, share the deadly suspense on Super Train. A movie producer frantically pursues the famous actress who's his only protection from hired assassins. Then, Studs Lonigan discovers a shattering secret about his father in part two of this explosive miniseries, starring Colleen Dewhurst, Charles Durning, and Harry Hamlin. Stay tuned now for high-speed action in the most spectacular auto race ever. See Check It, Flag, or Crash next on NBC. Thank you.